Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Portrait Journeys with Da Vinci. <laughs> Hello, art enthusiasts. I am Leonardo da Vinci, an artist, inventor, visionary of the Italian Renaissance, and your guide on this portrait journey. In our previous episode, we delved into the remarkable art of Sofonisba Anguissola, a trailblazer who opened the door for women to embark on dedicated careers as artists. Today, we take a different path, embarking on an exploration of a Flemish painter whose brush immortalized not only Anguissola, but also numerous historical figures of the 17th century. This esteemed artist is none other than Anthony van Dyck. Known for his masterful use of color and light, he was not only a portraitist, but also a painter of historical and mythological subjects. His work captured the essence of his subjects with a unique grace and elegance, making him one of the most sought-after portrait artists. One of his portrait masterpieces, Charles I of England in Three Positions, serves as an exceptional example of his skill and artistry. Join us as we embark on a captivating journey through Anthony van Dyck's world of portraiture, where each brushstroke reveals the essence of his subjects and brings history to life. Anthony van Dyck, a name synonymous with excellence in the world of portraiture, was born in Antwerp. This Flemish master would go on to leave an indelible mark on the art of portraiture. His innate talent became evident very early. By the age of 15, he had already become a highly accomplished artist. His remarkable progress led him to become an independent painter and even set up a workshop with his close friend Jan Bruegel the Younger. On St. Luke's Day, Van Dyck was admitted to the Antwerp Painters Guild of St. Luke as a free master. The presence and guidance of Peter Paul Rubens, the dominant master of Antwerp and Northern Europe, left an immense impression on his work. Rubens referred to the young Van Dyck as the best of my pupils, recognizing his exceptional talent. Van Dyck's most defining characteristic was his ability to capture the essence of his sitters, bringing them to life through his art. His work extended beyond mere technique and aesthetics. It was about understanding the human spirit, emotions, and the unique personality of each individual. In his portraits, you can feel the emotions, thoughts, and the very presence of the subjects as though they are about to step out of the canvas and engage in conversation. Van Dyck's unique ability to capture the essence of his subjects, combined with his masterful use of color and light, set him apart. He used color and light not only to illuminate his subjects, but also to convey their moods and personalities. His paintings are a symphony of vibrant and harmonious hues, a testament to his unparalleled skill as a colorist. This mastery of color, coupled with his understanding of human psychology, made his portraits truly exceptional. One of the remarkable aspects of Van Dyck's work is its timeless quality. His subjects from the 17th century appear as if they could belong to any era, transcending the limitations of time. His ability to create a sense of timelessness in his portraits is a testament to his genius and the universal appeal of his art.
Van Dyck's contribution to the world of portraiture extended beyond his technical brilliance. He set a standard for capturing the essence of humanity in art. His work not only celebrated the grandeur of his aristocratic subjects, but also touched the hearts of viewers from all walks of life. In essence, he made portraiture accessible, relatable, and emotionally resonant. Van Dyck's journey in the world of art was not confined to his early years in Antwerp. As his fame and talent grew, he found himself in the esteemed court of England, where he became the principal court portraitist. His appointment as the king's painter to Charles I of England marked a significant turning point in his career. Van Dyck's talent and artistic vision perfectly complemented the grandeur of the English court during the early 17th century. Through his portraits, he not only depicted the monarchy, but also shaped the image of the English aristocracy. His work extended beyond the king himself. He portrayed the royal family and courtiers, creating a visual record of the English aristocracy at the height of its power. Van Dyck's influence on English portrait painting was immense, and he became the dominant force in the field. His legacy was felt for generations, shaping the way English aristocracy and royalty were depicted in art for more than a century. Van Dyck's ability to bring out the individual character and personality of his sitters made each portrait a work of art and a window into the lives of the subjects. One of the most iconic works that emerged from this period is Charles I in three positions, a masterpiece that stands as a testament to Van Dyck's extraordinary skill in portraiture and his profound understanding of the human psyche. This monumental triple portrait is nothing short of a visual symphony, with each portrait capturing a distinct facet of the king's multifaceted persona. The first portrait exudes stately authority. He stands as a commanding figure his regal robes draping with the weight of his responsibility. The second portrait unveils a more intimate side of the king, one that reflects on the duties and challenges of his rule. In this depiction, Charles's gaze is introspective, hinting at the complexities of his position. The third and final portrait reveals a reflective and contemplative monarch, perhaps a glimpse into the solitude of his regal life. Van Dyck's masterful ability to capture not only the essence of his sitters, but also the nuances of color and light, serves as an enduring inspiration for artists throughout time. His remarkable legacy continues to influence the world of portraiture and the understanding of the human spirit, painting with the vibrant hues that transcend generations, leaving an indelible mark on the canvas of art history. As we draw the curtains on our exploration, we invite you to subscribe to our channel for more enriching art journeys. You can also explore the links in the description where you'll discover a carefully curated selection of art products inspired by great portrait masters. Your support keeps the spirit of art alive and allows us to continue our quest to unravel the stories and mysteries concealed within these portraits.
We look forward to sharing more captivating episodes of Portrait Journeys with Da Vinci with you, and always remember, art will never die.